Back with us on the Sports Bank Zone, former Jamaican sprinter Carrie Russell struck gold at the Women's Mona Bob World Series event in Park City, that's Salt Lake City, Utah, on Sunday. The 30-year-old was the third fastest over the 1.335 kilometer distance on Saturday, clocking a time of 54.95 seconds in her first run. She then produced a time of 54.13 seconds on her second and last run for a combined time of 1 minute 49.08 seconds. Russell, a member of Jamaica's Sprint Relay winning team to the Moscow World Championships in 2013, denied American Nicole Vogt, who was bidding for a hat-trick of wins in this women's monobob season. Vogt took silver, with bronze going to the Brazilian Marina Silva Tuono. The St. Thomas native is... Uh, trying to get we're trying to get a link through to her and to talk about her success but until then Nance this is tremendous because Carrie Russell didn't go here where Mona Bob is concerned on well where Bob Slay is concerned until about 2018 I, I, re I read an article some time ago before this weekend's events that the first time she had seen snow was when she was 26 in October this year she'll turn 31 yes so it's not a long time and she's doing great things already yeah well she actually qualified for the winter olympics in 2018 in pyeongchang south korea just i think about two or three years after starting the bobsleighing event yes. and um, very very um, commendable that she's been able to make those kinds of strides so quickly in a very demanding sport in conditions that she is completely unaccustomed to Yep, she was teaming up with Finleta Victorian, and she was the pusher, wasn't she? Yeah. Because she wasn't the driver. No, when she, she the was the brakeman, I think they call them. The, well, there you go. Yeah. Right, but she, but now she's doing the driving, so she's transitioned, learning a new role, mm -hmm. and she's excelling. And of course, it's on that, on, on that score that we wanted to have a quick chat with her today. Ah, we do. Carrie Russell, are you there? Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, I'm here. Yes, the, 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 the trademark smile as bright as a trillion watt light bulb. How are you <laughs> after the weekend exploits in Utah? I mean, I'm good. I have to give God thanks for, you know, all what's going on here. Uh, well, you know what, COVID, we have to a late start for the season. And what that means is that we have to make use of what we have. And our country, you know, everywhere we go, we have to give a good impact. We have to leave a trademark. And, all, you know, all we do is win. So yes. <laughs> I was there to tell myself that, <laughs> that I'm here to compete and to win. And But it takes a little time, I must say, because of, you know, we're here since January the 1st. And we have to do quarantine. And then, literally, it's my sister and I yesterday. And uh, it's been a while I haven't driven this truck. Uh, the last I drove on this track was 2018, after the Olympics. The moment the Federation told me they want me to drive. So, um, it was a good feeling, and I have some good team members around me. The staff that we have now is tremendous, I should say. Wayne Thomas, Pat Brown as a driving coach. And, you know, you have some team members who have knowledge of the sport because they're doing it. Oh, Jesse Gray have knowledge of the sport, she's doing it. Sean Wayne have knowledge of the sport, he's doing it. So we have a good little bunch of guys working with towards the 2022 game. Yeah. Tell me, what, what kind of adjustments did you make between your run on Saturday and then that final run on Sunday? Well, the primary thing is that, you know, my strength is, is the start. If you look on the timesheet, you realize that I would have one of the fastest starts. So my strength is the start. Her strength and her, 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 all of the America's greatest um, accolades to in the sport is that they have access to the facility so they can do all the good stuff with it they can they can drive well because they have a good driving coach the coach that we have now was one of the, the usa driving coach at one point um and also they have time on the ice that, that i didn't have mm. so when i spoke with the coach she was telling me that she's here from thanksgiving driving that same truck that we yes mm -hmm. and they were before they were in our uh, lake classes that's my technical, my home track. Yes. They were there from October driving. So, you know, I'm it's literally my sixth day and night. Yes. So I have no room for error. And I have to tell myself, I have to take whatever I get. So the first couple of days of sliding, it was rough. Because, you know, I've tried to adjust, try to get that feeling in the hand. Try to be less aggressive with the sled. To learn to trust the sled. Because you have to go as one with the sled. You cannot try to think that this is. 
I have to do everything because it's better to actually take its course naturally that the alignment you I mean you don't want. Yes. So you have to just you have to come as one with the sled, trust the sled, feel the sled, and drive what you see and drive what you feel. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's a it's pure physics. Mm -hmm. So I mean I capitalized between Saturday and Sunday. What helped me is that Arja and I sit on top with Coach Wayne. And they said that to me that Karen need to run a little bit longer. I said, okay, that's my strength. Mm -hmm. And because they are, the girl is pushing um, six and I'm pushing five. So she, that's, that's a big difference. So John Wayne, no, that's my teammate. He then said to me that, listen, you have to beat it off the hill and leave the rest for them to catch you. Because we know your driving skill, you drive better with speed. And I tell myself, I say, yes, sir. I sleep on that, wake up in the morning, and I tell myself that the first run, I have to put it way out of her league so she has to technically drive. Actually, the track record to, to beat me. So, so I tell myself that. So I said, listen, no mistake. Be calm, look long, drive what you see, look out for the pressures, drive through the pressures, can't drive in a street, you only can't drive on the curb. Yeah. And that's what I tell myself all the way down to the track. Relax, inhale, exhale, look long, drive what you see. Yeah. Carry a fabulous result on the weekend for, for sure. But you said you arrived at the competition venue on the 1st of January, did you? What? Well, yeah, I arrived. I, uh, yeah, we, came, we get into Lake uh, yeah. Park City on the 1st, and we have to do a four day quarantine, and then we'll do a COVID test yeah. to, to give the clear, and then we do another COVID test. We, we already gone four COVID tests, and we have actually have another COVID test tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm, I'm keen to, to get a sense of your preparation in late 2020, December, October, November. What, what were you doing that within weeks uh, of landing at this competition, you can be winning a gold medal when your, your preparation, you know, may not have been ideal? Well, <laughs> well the thing is, you know, the, the good thing is that we actually have a bobsled track, push track here in, at GC Foster. So would normally do three times a week pushing. Yes. And uh, you would work with Coach Wayne. So we normally do two, two, we ensure that we're there two days, which is Wednesdays and Saturdays. If we can make it three, like Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, we do it. And the other days I would normally work out at MVP with Steve Francis. So that's where I do most of my lifting. That's where I do most of my training. And so it, 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 it's 50-50. Uh, and uh, I mean, it worked. The plan, the plan did work in 2018, 2017, 2018, going into the game. And I don't know why it, it, it could work. No, so it's working, as you see. Yeah. All right. Well, Carrie, um, congratulations on the fabulous effort. And we will continue to track your performances as uh, you look to shine on the ice. <laughs> yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Okay, great. We go to break. Back with more on the Sportsmat Zone after this.